Hello, this is Marie Diaries, and I'm going to do a random reading video. And let's just see how this goes. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, you can go back and watch any video that's on my channel. It don't have to be a certain one. Any video, whatever you want to watch. If you watch the video to the end, you can like and subscribe. Or you can like and or subscribe. Um, and just, you know, show my videos some love. You know, maybe if it something that res resonates with you or not or maybe one of my other videos because I do like to um do my my own nails I haven't done none in a while but I hopefully should be get, um getting back to doing that soon I'm trying to work on getting me some new um acrylic brushes and some monomer so I'm gonna work on doing that I do any more videos I know I like I haven't done my nails and like since I started learning how to do it myself I haven't um been doing them for the like the last few months or whatever but um yeah all right so I shook up the cards shake them up whatever now I'm gonna start shuffling Take a little spirit. Let's start again. So this is a random read. So this is for any signs, any and all signs, male or female. All right, spirit of the highest spirit, my pure spirit, light angels, archangels. I ask that you come in and guide me and show me what you want me to see as I do this reading right now. Show me any and all card, any excuse me any and all cards that you want me to see. All right. So the first three cards that came out was the King of Pentacles in reverse. We got the Five of Pentacles in reverse, and we got the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like with the King of Pentacles coming in, in reverse, we have a divine masculine um, who's in a relationship. Um, he could he could be married because we got it's the King of Pentacles, so he could be like he could have had been in a committed relationship um, or a committed marriage. So I mean, a committed like long term relationship or a marriage. Um, and then we got the pay the excuse me we got the five of pentacles in reverse so i feel like this is the person that he's dealing with um but even though it's in reverse so like he might could be this king of pentacles he could be someone that could be um trying to work this relationship out this uh relationship out with this woman you know because we got five of pentacles in reverse so he's trying to work out this relationship with um his other half or whatever and then it's the page of pentacles in reverse but he might not be like i feel like with the page of pentacles in reverse it's a relationship that's something that hasn't just started it's something that they've been involved in or into for a while now King of Pentacles in reverse. So, Spirit, what do you want me to see for the King of Pentacles? Clarify the King of Pentacles. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Spirit, clarify the King of Pentacles in reverse. 
clarify the King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so I just had actually four cards come out. So the first card that came out was the Six of Wands in reverse. We got the Justice Upright. We got the Ten of Wands and we upright and we got the Temperance in reverse. So I feel like this King of Pentacles, he's not um he might not be happy in this relationship with this woman, his wife that he's been with for a long time um, because, you know, we got the justice coming up, right? So they could be possibly in the process of, um, you know, going to court or whatever. And I feel like um, it's taking action, it's moving forward because we got the Ten of Wands and um, upright, not reverse, it's upright. And the Tempest is in reverse so i feel like because it wasn't no balance so he's willing to um go forward with taking action on um maybe removing himself from this um, long-term relationship because for some reason something's not working out or they're not getting along or whatever the issues are so let me just clarify the temperance in reverse so spirit clarify Temperance in reverse. Right there, the Temperance card in reverse. Okay, now we just had the Six of Swords come out in reverse. So yeah, he's definitely willing on. He's definitely willing on moving forward with um, this re moving away from this relationship because. Uh, the Six of Swords just came out, you know, he's not having balance in the relationship or he feel like it's not balanced between them two. So um, he's not confused in his head. He's not thinking about it long and hard. Um, it's not something he's confused about. Um, he might be, he's probably direct at what he know what to do. It's, it's not nothing confusing him or like holding him from... Um, making this decision or whatever all right so let's clarify the six of swords in reverse so the star just came out in reverse and now we got the ten of pentacles upright so i feel like yeah he something about the relationship wasn't being um Yeah, he's moving on with this relationship because it has something to do with the family. Um, something something with the dynamic in the family was not being um, acknowledged or worked on or something of that matter. So for him to take this, because he's not celebrating any like victory, he's willing to go through these legal issues to uh, push the... Um, action forward with him moving forward because it's not no balance in the relationship uh, excuse me and he's not all up in his head um regarding his decision because you know something wasn't being revealed okay we just had three cards come out so now we got the magician in reverse we got the nine of pentacles in, uh upright and the seven of wands upright so yeah he wasn't he definitely was willing to, um, to take this action towards um, leaving the family dynamics because they weren't, with the magician coming out in reverse, they wasn't manifesting um, progress in a relationship as far as growing and, um, and maybe finances. Um, so with the seven of wands, he might have had some kind of... Uh, intuition or you know some kind of awakening or something with the seven of wands coming out upright something was leading him to um leading him to that um now with the three of cups just coming out upright he might have been also wanting to leave this relationship um because it wasn't balanced because um it was some like notion or whatever of a third party because we got the three of cups upright so it might have been something going on that's probably what what was not being um 
highlighted or known with the sun I mean with the star coming out in reverse so yeah something with uh, a third party so he might have been trying to entertain his wife and another woman so you know he was feeling like it wasn't gonna work out with his wife anyway so he, you know he might as well separate himself from this um, this relationship and um, move on like as far as settling the the marriage with a divorce so that he could move on to this other person this other woman um, now we just had the th the excuse me now we just had the emperor come out upright and the hermit come out upright so he's definitely going within within um, to figure this all out you know um, taking the time by himself be, uh, seeing what he needs to do to um, successfully, like, you know, end this relationship without it being any kind of um, confusion or turmo uh, turmoil or whatever and stuff. Let's see. Let's clarify this five of pentacles. Let's see what comes out for that. Because this will be the the other person is going to be the the wife. And the, the first card that came out for that was the Five of Pentacles in reverse. We just had the three of pentacles upright and then the ace of cups in reverse so the wife could probably be feeling like um yeah he was trying to offer the, with the three of pentacles coming out the 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 husband which was the king of pentacles he could have been offering um he was attempting to offer this three-party relationship um with this other woman but um and she was not you know she was not agreeing to that she wasn't feeling it you know she didn't think probably think like it was needed or worth it or whatever because i feel like that's why the ace of cups came out in reverse she might not have been offering any emotions or feelings towards this um this relationship um, it might have been like even stressing her out or making her sad or, you know, making her not feel important. Um, with the four pentacles coming out in reverse, she wasn't willing to um, hold on to this relationship with the king of pentacles. So when, you know, we had the justice card, uh, justice card come up, um, she probably was... Um, it probably didn't affect her that they was going to go to court to get this separation because they was already having the issues going on they already wasn't um agreeing on everything even though they had already been in this relationship for a long time and you know had a family together and everything so clarify the four pentacles in reverse and then we just got the wheel in re uh, reverse so she wasn't willing to hold on to this relationship she might not have been um, taking any major actions um, towards 
keeping this relationship with the king of pentacles as far as their marriage or whatever she probably was like you know like i said she probably um she wasn't um she wasn't hurt not to uh try to keep the re relationship alive or whatever you know for whatever reason but mainly because the third party situation she knew that he was trying to offer um another woman love and attention besides her and probably you know trying to deal with them together or you know both of them at the same time with the will coming out in reverse um she didn't want it to uh she didn't want this cycle to continue with with this king of pentacles um and then the knight of cups in reverse so she definitely was slowly cut, cutting off her um her emotions towards this king king of pentacles because she knew what was going on she knew what was happening um so she wasn't like it wasn't something with that had her stuck up in her head um because he might have been like he was attempting probably to offer her still affection and love and everything but she she knew what the deal was the temperance just came out in reverse yeah she with the temperance coming out in reverse and then we already had the knight of cups she definitely was slowly um stopping with her emotions towards him because she knew that it was we, we already had the temperance come out we um it wasn't no balance between them and the relationship because they it was just too much going on it was like more than what she could deal with more than what she could handle um then we just had the two of wands come out in reverse and the two of cups upright so she might not have been the one i mean even though with even though the knight of cups and the temperance came out in reverse followed by the two of wands in reverse i feel like So I feel like because of that, she wasn't trying to make the, or she might have felt like he wasn't trying to make a decision. He wasn't trying to balance out the relationship. He wasn't trying to pick between either one of them. He probably wanted to be with both of them. Um, I feel like that's why the Two of Cups came up upright. But that's probably not so, because, yeah. So the two, two of Cups just came up upright, and now it's followed by the Nine of Swords upright. So this probably had her all up in her head because he wasn't choosing her. He wasn't deciding on who he wanted, you know. He was trying to be with the both of them. Um, and then with the Queen of Pentacles coming out in reverse. Yeah, I feel like the Queen of Pentacles is the... Um, is her so yeah she was definitely all up in her head about the relationship about him entertaining this other woman um you know she was married to him she thought that he was giving her fulfillment but the whole time he wasn't he was entertaining somebody else um yeah let's get one more card for the for this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, he might have been. Yeah. Let's see what come out and then okay so i just had two cards come out so now we had the seven of wands come back out again with the eight of cups both of them coming up uh, upright seven of wands upright and the eight of cups upright so yeah this queen of Pent pentacles she um also made a decision a quick decision she's standing um what she wanted to do she took action um with the eight of cups coming up upright she was willing to walk away from this relationship um with her emotions intact 
because she probably couldn't deal with it anymore. It probably was too much. And then at the back of the deck is the Queen of Cups coming up upright, the Eight of Pentacles coming up upright. Yeah. She definitely was wanting to walk away with her emotions. She was um, letting it go, letting it all free because she knew that she could be still fulfilled and happy um, without him. Because we got the Eight of Pentacles upright, she that's like every almost everything. So she, you know, still was able to make her own money, um, provide for her family, um, you know, do what she needed to do. She didn't feel like she needed to stay and take that um, messiness from what the King of Pentacles was trying to offer her. Because if she did with the Five of Wands coming up upright, it would have been more confrontation arguments um fighting um you know maybe her feeling like she's in competition with this other woman um now we have the ten of wands coming back out again with the the ten of wands come out it coming out again upright with the seven of cups in reverse so she wasn't willing to entertain this this um this competition and fighting and everything because you know she had her family to look after um she knew she was still going to be good so with the ten of wands coming out i feel like she just she was comfortable with, with um with just walking away or whatever um seven of cups in reverse she might she might not she yeah, she might not have had no options you know as far as another man or anything but that didn't stop her because she knew that with the star coming out in reverse also she knew that he was holding something back. She knew it was something that he wasn't telling her. Something wasn't being revealed or whatever. Um, he might not. He he maybe even didn't like um, explain to her everything. Because we got the Knight of Wands coming out. But she was doing it slowly. You know, it's taking action slowly. And the Six of Wands coming back out in reverse she was she was doing it slowly she was moving taking action towards keeping her family without him she was taking the necessary um moves but it was slow at slow action towards doing that because um you know they still had to go through this court thing you know we're dealing with the court and getting this divorce finalized and everything so it wasn't something that was celebrated because the six of wands came out in reverse Okay. All right, let's do the last card, which is um, the outcome of this relationship. Lover's card in reverse. So these two people, the husband and this, you know, Queen of Pentacles and this Knight, uh, King, the King of Pentacles and this Queen of Pentacles, they was in this relationship for. Okay, sorry about that. My phone alarm happened to go off, so it cut the video off. So I'm starting the rest of the video. I was at the last card, which was the Page of Pentacles in reverse, um, regarding this King of Pentacles in reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles coming up in reverse. All right, so the Spirit of the Highest Light Light, Pure Star Light, Angels, Archangels. Show me what you need to see regarding this page of pentacles in reverse. Okay. So we just had the seven of swords come out in reverse, the king of cups come out in reverse, and the star coming out in reverse. So I feel like because those three came out, um they both um they both wasn't trying to 
they both wasn't trying to take anything from each other um, because they both knew that their feelings wasn't involved. Like, they wasn't um, putting the time and effort into it. Um, their emotions wasn't involved because they both uh, might have been feeling like something wasn't being um, told or, like, revealed or whatever. Um, because of this third party situation that they had going on. So they both was like, you know, they both was willing. They wasn't like, maybe they wasn't like trying to argue with each other no more. They just was willing to go on with what needed to be done. Excuse me. So clarify the start first, clarify the start. Okay, so a few cards came out. So first we got the five of wands coming up upright. So yeah, they wasn't they wasn't hesitant in doing what they needed to do as far as um, having this divorce um, because you know they already had um, arguing and fighting and like maybe the Queen of Pentacles felt like she was in competition with this other woman. So they had all this negative energy going on with this five of wands coming up upright the ace of pentacles coming out in reverse this queen of pentacles knew that this king of pentacles the queen of pentacles knew that the king of pentacles was not trying to offer this relationship with her like as far as to grow the relationship um so she you know it wasn't like really affecting her um the four of wands the four of swords in reverse she wasn't um, letting her um, affect her, beat her. It wasn't beating her down. She didn't take this as a loss. Um, and then we just had the page of swords coming out upright. But she might have felt like, or they both might have felt like um, they was in the beginning of sorting out everything with them planning on going to court to resolve this issue as far as getting that divorce um, so they could both move on and move their separate ways um the king of pentacles maybe with the other woman and the um, queen of pentacles with the kids and you know who are, uh, whoever she decided to be with in the future or if if that's what she wanted to do as far as getting in another um, relationship Yeah, so she was Eight of Pentacles just came out upright. We had that come out already with her. Um, so she was in the beginning stages of um, figuring out what she needed to do as far as her being able to move on successfully from this relationship. We just had. Um, so we got the Eight of Pentacles come out upright and then the Six of Pentacles come up upright. So maybe she might have had somebody else. Um, once she figured out that she was going to end this marriage with this King of Pentacles in reverse, maybe she was being offered another relationship from another man. You know, someone she might have been in the beginning stages of talking to. They uh, probably was just like cordial and, you know, talking to each other. I don't know if they maybe even they could have been like kind of friends and whatever like somebody maybe somebody she knew at her job or someone she knew of already so he could be um highly interested in offer her this relationship with the six of pentacles coming out upright all right so clarify the six of uh, pentacles spirit clarify the six of pentacles So the moon just the moon card just came out upright. So yeah, this new man that could possibly end entering her life, it might be something he's holding back on. Something's not being revealed. He might have some kind of secret he might have to come out with eventually. With the moon card, um, the moon card coming out upright, or she might be not uh, quick to inform him about 
the relationship or how her relationship ended with her husband regarding her families and everything because we got the ace of swords coming out in reverse and the king of swords coming out in reverse and uh, excuse me in the reverse so yeah i'm thinking it's this new guy he might be kind of holding back um on some information maybe regarding something that happened with him and his relationship um we really don't know So that's the only thing she would have to worry about. This Queen of Pentacles would have to worry about. Um, but the Five of Cups just came out in reverse. But it's something that's not keeping him all up in his head. It's, um, it's not something he's daydreaming about. or um, It's something that's not... Something that's not keeping him worried, you know? So, first of all, we just had the Page of Cups come out in reverse, but I put it back in the deck. And now the Queen of Pentacles came out in reverse. So, it's regarding him being with somebody else, too. Or maybe this even might be the, the wife, too. She could be kind of holding back from him. She's going to be holding back from this new, this new partner about... Um, the relationship um, with her husband because look we had the moon come out upright the ace of swords come out in reverse the king of swords came out in reverse and then the five of cups came out in reverse and the queen of pentacles came out in reverse so all of that to me feel like she's she's not like in her mind she's not um spiraling out of control but at the same time she's not going to be so forthcoming of telling this new man about what was going on with her and her previous relationship and why they got divorced and everything she's not going to be so um forthcoming about that it might take her some time you know for her to notice a new person to let her in on that information she might let the person know that they did like you know they did in their in the relationship or whatever but as far as all the other details, it might not get um, disclosed right away. Because after all, she got to look after her and her, her family. You know, that comes first before anything. Even though this, this new man could be, like, trying to offer this, this great relationship. And he financially stable and got his own place and everything. She still could be um, wanting to want to hold back a little bit. Okay, so now we got the Seven of Wands just came out upright. So, yep, I feel like she's going to be taking stand and, like I was just saying, um, with letting him know about her family. The Ten of Pentacles is at the uh, in the middle of the deck when I just opened it. The Ten of Pentacles. So, yeah, she's going to be taking a stand in what she offers um, information about her family in the relationship she had with her husband she's gonna be like she's gonna be picking and choosing what she want to tell him this new person at the time because like certain stuff probably matter right away and the other stuff no not so much you know she she's probably gonna decide to hold off on that so yeah that's what i'm getting okay and at the back of the deck, we got the Five of Swords in reverse, which is confirming like she's not going to be all up in her head. The Eight of Cups came in out, um, upright, and then the Tower. So, yep, she's willing to walk away with her emotions. Um, she's not um, she's not sad about it. She's looking forward to it and everything. With the Tower coming out in um, upright, it was a, a transformation, which was, or, you know, a new new beginning which was her leaving the relationship with her husband and um starting over again with her and her kids and like this possible new relationship so let me do the um romantic tarot and then i'm gonna do these other ones too these uh signs so see what signs will come out
shake up these. The signs are in this container. Let's see what come out. Or I'm going to just pick them out this time. I'm going to pick out three of them. So one, two, three. Okay, so this could be dealing with a Pisces. Male or female. This could be dealing with a Gemini. Male or female. The last one that came out or I pulled out was Sagittarius. Male or female. So excuse my hands, they're a little dry or whatever. <laughs> I be lotion in my hands like freaking so many times a day. I think it's because I be, I be like washing my hands a lot. And then even when I was used to work in healthcare, they used to get like that all the time. So I used that's why I used to always I'm always carrying lotion on me. I always try to keep lotion on me. My hands stay dry. Maybe ashy, 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 ashy. Alright, so I'm going to shuffle up this tarot, romance tarot deck, and let's see what comes out for this. you want me to see for this reading that I am doing right at this moment. Show me any and all cards that you want me to see right now for this reading that I am doing right at this moment. Too many, too many, too many, too many. All right, let's do it like this. All right, two more cards. One or two more cards. Right, one or two more cards. All right, two more cards. Right, one or
take any other card for the final love sign. Okay. You want to give me one more, Spirit? Clarify the card that's currently on the table. All right. There we go. So the first one that came out was letting your friendship or letting your friends help you ask, ask for and accept support from others. So yeah, I feel like this is directly message for the Queen of Pentacles. If she's, you know, have any close friends that she, you know, might talk to someone about her situation um, to let your friends help you. You know, even if you asking them a question and like telling them, oh, it's for a friend or whatever type thing. You know, ask them, get their opinion, you know, a little, get a little bit of info. Um, or, you know, they might just show support regardless. Um, the next card that came out was romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, yep, this new love interest or new relationship she might be building with this new partner. Um, they probably do got romantic feelings for each other. Um, it looks promising. Um... It's definitely could, could be worth exploring because it says your feelings are real and worth exploring uh, the next one that came out was new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so yep that's confirming it right there she might be leaving this king of Pentacles in reverse but she has a new love coming in it all depends on when he's coming you know it could be tomorrow next week a month a couple months from now a year whenever it's, it's time and it's ready for the new relationship and the last card that came out was finances and career so it says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so yeah with her previous relationship with this king of pentacles it might have been some kind of um finances or financial issues um but i feel like it could be something that could be worked out because you know we had like some of the cards that came out like the eight of pentacles excuse me coming up upright so she like she's gonna be able to move on without this king of pentacles and still be um substantial and um set to go she's i don't think she's gonna be in too much of a um bind or whatever she might have to like budget a little more or you know fix out you know fix or switch bills you know however how that go but those are what came out for the romantic deck and so i'm going to end this reading on that note and i'll catch you guys in my next video that i do all right see you guys later bye